Hello everyone, this is Diane Bridges, and this is March's The Body House Chronicles. And I wanted to bring your attention to the very lovely Barbara Stanwyck on the cover this month. She is known for putting in very powerful and sensual performances as an actress. And she was born in Brooklyn and died in Santa Monica, California. There she is, very lovely. And I love to include a lot of these vintage photographs in every issue, which comes out every month, at the beginning of every month. I just think it's really important that we keep these vintage stars alive. She actually had a bit of a difficult upbringing. She was uh, only four when this happened, but her mother was pregnant and was accidentally pushed from a moving streetcar by a drunken man. And it uh, led to a miscarriage for her mother and then her eventual death. And her father did not cope very well with this. And two weeks after their mother died, he left to take a job to work on the Panama Canal and he was never to return. And so she and her sisters and brothers had to fend for themselves and they were put into foster homes and she turned to acting. There she is at 15 as a young actress. And at one point, I believe it's 1943 or 1944, she became the highest paid woman in this country, not just in the entertainment business, but in this country. Yes, 1944, she was the highest paid woman in the United States. She really was a pioneer in the industry and for women in general. She was no wilting flower, that's for sure. Wow. And she had two marriages. One, her first marriage was to Frank Fay, who was a comedian. Uh, now, Barbara Stanwyck, as a teen, had an abortion, and it sort of ruined her uh, ever after for having children, unfortunately. So they adopted a child. That's her son, Tony. Now, it is said that she and Tony had a very tense relationship, and that once Tony became an adult, he rarely visited her, ever. She essentially had an estranged son. And she did marry again, and then he died, and she never married after that, and lived a long life. And her brother was also in the entertainment business. There he is. Not nearly as famous as his sister, but a working actor. Anyone who works in that business needs a lot of credit. It's tough to get paid. Now, there was always ambiguity around her sexuality because she was so very strong and she was very attractive to both sexes. But it was never proven that she was actually a lesbian. But it looks like she had no problem with men there. And here she is in a 1937 movie, This Is My Affair. And then 10 years later, The Other Love. These are well worth watching. It also gives you an idea of how the entertainment industry has evolved over the years. And there she is again, glamorous. And the rabbit hole information, always included in every Body House Chronicles. Uh, in this one, we have a short documentary on, <laughs> on our history, literally repeating itself again. And this man here, this uh, lookout for Charlie, this man, he is an audio expert and breaks down a lot of the frequencies that we are now living with that are below our conscious and auditory recognition. Uh, in this particular video, he talks about Morgellons disease and how it's changing, uh, and all because of frequencies and nanotechnology. So, uh, And once again, this is uh, Jeff Anderson from stopthepirates.blogspot.com. He has some very important information on becoming a secret creditor. This information actually is being suppressed. I can't always uh, share this, this URL on a lot of these social media platforms, even the alternative ones that like to tout they're all about free speech. So I've also got a membership page coming soon. That's it for the March issue. Thank you for listening, and have a very sensual day.